Hi, it's a lipstick owl. Thank you so much for watching today. Let's do a deep dive into luxury matte lipsticks. I have more than 20 in front of me. These are hard to do. Um, here's what you need to know about me. I'm 49, my lips are finicky. When I was younger, I could wear anything and it didn't matter. Um, but now if things are too drying or there is something about the formula that makes my lips look kind of wrinkled and pruney, mm -mm, that's a no-go for me. I'm looking for a product that's gonna look matte but not make my lips look like really shriveled, really like dry. <laughs> I also want something that's gonna impart moisture. So um, I have these kind of ranked from worst to first. My criteria here comes down to the price. Uh, on top of that, whether there's a scent, uh, what the packaging is like. Um, I'm also looking at the number of shades in the line, as well as how it feels on the lips. I feel like that mouthfeel is so important. After that longevity, how long does it wear? And then any additional like notes. I had a space to put down things that kind of didn't fall into that area. The lipstick that for me is the worst out of everyone that I have I'm so sad to say, is this Dior. This is the Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick. This normally runs for $47. Makes me mad to spend $47 on this lipstick. It has a very heavy, powdery, floral scent to it, but there are 35 shades in the range. Out of most of these lipsticks, I like that there are that many shades. So if you're looking for a budge proof, like not really gonna go anywhere sort of lipstick, you would probably really like this. This feels kind of like the wear that I would get out of a liquid lipstick, but in bullet form. The one thing I don't like is the black packaging because, okay, first of all, for luxury, I'm expecting something more than just kind of a lightweight plastic situation. That's what we have going here. The other thing that bothers me is that the cap is not fully square, it's rectangular, but it looks so close that if you don't put it on right, it won't close. You have to have it turn just right. And I didn't once, and you'll see there's like a little stress crack here. And there is one on the back side because I had it going on the other way and I was trying to force it down and it wouldn't do that. As I'm putting this on, I think about the way this feels going on. Let me wipe off the lip balm I have on already because I, I don't want to give this any extra help. Because if you put a little lip balm on, it feels better and it's more comfortable, but you don't get the like long wear. I do like this color. Um, I feel like uh, because my lips are losing volume, this type of formula always looks better when I use it with a lip liner. So right as you're putting it on straight from the bullet, it has a really nice kind of silicone-y glide to it, but then it starts to dry down. And you can see how my lips are sticking together. It has kind of like that tacky feel the whole time. One thing that is good about this is it doesn't really transfer to cups. It doesn't transfer to utensils. You could blot your lips with like a napkin if you were eating something. This really isn't gonna go where, but why this doesn't work for me sucks the living daylights out of my lips. That's like the worst thing right there. On top of that, after about two or three hours, my lips just get less and less hydrated and they look like shriveled raisins. And you know the difference between like a really plump and juicy raisin? And I know raisins are a dried fruit, but the ones that have been sitting in the back of the cupboard open to the air for like five years, that's what my lips look like. It's terrible. Another thing that I noticed recently, and I picked this one up accidentally. I haven't had it that long, less than a year. And look, it's already broken. And I think it's interesting that it's broken because it's in slimline packaging. And I really haven't used it because I don't like this formula. I think that's kind of an interesting and weird thing that a lipstick that I don't like would break. So I'm wondering if maybe the longer it sits around and it, it just kind of dries up and um, kind of shrivels and makes it easier for it to move around inside the packaging because it's in there pretty snugly. This claims to last for 16 hours, but for me, the only way it lasted was like right around the edge. This does something that to me is a cardinal sin for a lipstick. It wears unevenly on the lips. So because it is a little bit tacky, <laughs> you can see how my lips stick together. Sometimes I had a red one and when I stuck my lips together and I pulled them apart, I could see that color was transferring off one lip to the other. And then I had a small like little gap in my lip. Didn't like that, especially with the bold color. No, 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 no. The other thing that I noticed is as I was talking throughout the day, this lipstick, because it is tacky, it sticks to itself. It never sticks like right here. And pretty soon I have like a little bare patch, a little patch like 
on the top of my lip, right where it's almost on the inside and on the bottom. Um, and then all around that area, product sticks to itself. Have you seen like lip glosses that give you that white ring? Imagine a ring like that, but lipstick colored, and then there's nothing in the middle. You can feel texturally the ridge building up. I, I hate things like that. So because this is so expensive, and it doesn't sit well, it doesn't last, you know, like where I want it to. If you're wearing a bold color, you're gonna have like a little bald patch in the middle, right where your lips touch, and it's gonna build up on itself, and you'll have like a little very discernible ridge that you'll be able to feel a textural difference. I don't think, I mean, is it matte? Yes, does it last a long time? Yes, but do you have to be laying on a bed and not talking and for it to look perfect? Yes, this one's at the bottom of the heap for me. Literally one of the worst lipsticks I own. It's not worth $47 in my opinion, not even worth $7. Here's another lipstick that I don't like. <laughs> I've talked about these before. These are within that luxury price because they're $35. These are the RMS Legendary Serum Lipsticks. There's eight shades in this range. I got two of them. And um, my favorite one is this one here. This is the shade Ruby Moon. I love this lipstick shade. It's beautiful. This has a really interesting thing is like as you're applying it, it almost feels like you're putting something wet on your lips, like maybe a paintbrush that was dipped in cool water. I absolutely adore this color. It's one of my favorite shades of red to wear. Um, the problem that I have with these lipsticks is at the $35 price point, they're not very luxe packaging wise. I do like that the shade on the outside mimics what's on the inside. So like you can tell, you don't have to read the label for the name on the bottom. You'll know this is your red. This is kind of like your brownie nude. Um, the other problem I have with this is this formula here, the one that I have on, this one wears like a champ. Eight hours, it's on, but my lips are dying for moisture. This one has a lot more of a, let me swatch them for you. They're supposed to stain your lips. They're supposed to be a serum. They're supposed to be like all of these things. Look how glossy this one is. This one's like super shiny, but you do need to kind of build it up to get that pigment. Um, I find that this one needs a lot more um, like passes. This one here, one pass is like instant pigment. Boop. <laughs> so this one does is not as opaque as this one. That's interesting because they're the same formula, but they're not. Um, the other thing that's interesting is this one is really matte and this one is really shiny. That is something that I don't like. It's like a discrepancy in the formula. On top of that, this one here, because it is really moisturizing, only lasts for about three or four hours, but it finds all of the lines in my lips and settles into those vertical lines, making my lips look older and more wrinkled. And then it finds all of the fine lines right along the vermilion border and starts to travel out. So I cannot wear this shade here in Mickey without a lip liner. Um, and one of the claims that the brand makes is that these are supposed to stain your lips. This red one will stain your lips, but this one here doesn't. The fact that they don't wear the same, that the texture is different, one is glossy, one is not, one is a little sheer, one is like completely opaque. Man, that's a lot of weirdness in only eight shades. Now, I don't wanna go and buy the other six to find out whether it's just these two, like one is really matte and one is really glossy and the rest of them are, no. I'm not interested in that. I feel like having purchased two of these in colors that I normally love, um, I like the colors, but the truth is this one here, now that my lips are old and <laughs> wrinkled, it's almost unwearable. And this one, it doesn't find those fine lines and travel all over my face, but it sucks the living daylights out of them. This is like a very beautiful red, but I can't wear it. It needs gloss, it needs a balm, it needs something else. And then that breaks down kind of like that sort of matte look to the lips. All right, this next lipstick I don't have in the full size. I got this little mini as a gift, and this is a Givenchy lipstick. This is their Le Rouge Interdit Intense Silk Lipstick. This is a kind of like a demi-matte. Um, if you were to buy the full size, the full size is $44. This has a faint floral smell to it and there are 25 shades. This has a really nice glide to it. It feels really nice going on. It has um, kind of like a slightly hydrating feel right now, but in like 15 minutes, it's gone. <laughs> the problem that I have with this is that it sucks the life out of my lips. 
Um, I actually decluttered this. I pulled it out of my declutter so I could, you know, show you the formula for this video, but this is going straight back into my declutter. If you were to get the full size, um, it comes with this leather case. I like that the case itself is leather. Um, it does have like the um, logo here on the top. What's interesting is that this silk version of the lipstick, if you were to get the full size, it's supposed to be refillable. But when I was on the um, Givenchy website, clicking on the refills, it errored out. So I don't know if they're revamping their lipstick line. I know a lot of companies are kind of in the process of doing that. We might be on the verge of getting new Givenchy lipsticks, but the packaging is kind of lightweight. I know it's a mini, but it feels kind of lightweight. I have some full size other ones from Givenchy and I feel like the packaging is similar. I do like that it's black leather. I like that. Um, I, I don't mind the detailing of these little notches that fit into these grooves here. That doesn't bother me, but it doesn't feel very heavy or weighty as far as that goes. This doesn't provide enough hydration to my lips on its own. So this is one that if I were to keep it, I would have to constantly be pairing it with something else and then I wouldn't be getting that matte look that I like. The next lipstick that is definitely kind of in the bottom for me, one that I, I just don't like is this. Now this is limited edition packaging for a Pat McGrath lipstick. These Pat McGrath lipsticks will run you $39. This is the matte trance formula and there are 34 shades in this range. There is no scent to this. That's one thing that I like. Normally this comes with black packaging and there's a set of gold lips here. I do like that it's slightly domed. You have the gold accents. It feels kind of heavy. It's not the most weighty but it's starting. This packaging feels luxury to me where this does not. <laughs> Another thing that this has going for it is I feel like it glides really nicely on the lips. I have the shade Fever Dream. This applied so easily to the lips because it has a really nice silicone-y glide to it. I feel like there's just a little bit of texture, almost like a slight powdery feel to this. Um, it has a nice glide. It does have a little bit of a dry down. I wouldn't say that it like dries down the way the Dior one does, but it definitely doesn't stay kind of this this slippy on the lips. The one thing that this does that for me is like the unforgivable thing is it dries my lips out. Oh my goodness, my goodness. My lips end up dry, they end up flaky. Um, I do like that there are some really pretty um, shades in this line. The reds are gorgeous, the nudes, oh my goodness. I love the shade Omi. I had that for a long time. I had a red in Elson. I just had to get rid of them because my lips don't like them. And I don't want to be wearing something that's going to dry my lips out and that at the end of the day, my lips are chapped and angry. I don't want that. So these lipsticks, sadly, and I bought this lipstick. Thankfully, it was on sale instead of being $39. It was $12. Um, but I bought this lipstick specifically for this review because I thought it was terrible to talk about luxury matte lipsticks and not have a Pat McGrath. But if your lips can handle it and they don't need as much moisture as mine do, I love the shades. I feel like the packaging is nice. Um, and I especially like that there's no scent to these. I think it's a good lipstick. Um, it's really easy to apply. It just, my lips can't handle it. I think we're past all the ones where I would say, don't buy these lipsticks. <laughs> Those are the ones that I'm officially like, don't like these. Now this next one I like, I think I might have liked it better had I gotten a different uh, shade, but this is another Givenchy lipstick. This is La Rouge Deep Velvet Matte Lipstick. Um, I like the idea of a velvet finish so much. I also like that the packaging has red velvet. The thing is though, you have to be so careful with this. This velvet packaging gets dinged up and then that's it. And then it doesn't look luxe anymore. I thought it was interesting that both of the other formulas in this type of packaging are refillable, but this one's not. And if I didn't mention it, these are $44. This feels comfortable. It has a slightly heavier feel than the Pat McGrath, but in a kind of a comfortable nourishing way. This is a really beautiful color. It feels really nice on the lips. It has a really nice mouth feel and it stays feeling like that. This can get a little bit drying, so I have to be careful. The one thing that I don't like about this formula in particular, especially since it's a bold shade, is that it kind of gets really fuzzy at the edge the longer you wear it. It looks really nice and crisp right now, but give it like three hours <laughs> and you'll have kind of like a really blurred edge. So this is one that 
when I wear this lipstick, I needs must pair it with a lip liner. Otherwise, game over, I look like a joker. <laughs> it looks like, kind of like a crazy red mouth. I think that if I had gotten something that wasn't quite this deep and quite this bold, I'd like it because it feels so nice on the lips. It applies nicely over the top of itself. I feel like for $44, this is actually a really nice experience. I, I just to worry about the flocking. They're so pretty when they're right out of the box, but it's really easy to ding the flocking. And then the minute the velvet starts coming off or getting dented, it just doesn't look luxe anymore. So these are ones that I have to very carefully take with me when I'm you know, wearing that shade. This lasts about six or seven hours on the lips but it does kind of dry down. You do have to kind of reapply if you want to get kind of like that slightly cushy nourishing feel again. Um, so it applies nicely over the top of itself, but I think out of all of the luxury reds, this one might be my least favorite. All right, next lipstick is this one from Valentino. This is the Rosa Valentino Soft Matte Lipstick. These are $45 for the full lipstick, but what I do like is that they're refillable. If you're getting the refill, the refills are $30. This has kind of like a soft, slightly faint floral smell to it. Um, I do like kind of like the red squarish packaging. It does have a nice weight and heft to it. Um, this formula, it feels amazing going on. I have to be really careful with this because when I got this lipstick, it broke. And it didn't like snap off at the bottom. It's interesting because it has kind of, you know, I, I don't know if it's this matte formula because I have some satin formulas from Valentino that don't do this. So I'm gonna have to be really careful putting this on. Hold please. I love the way this lipstick feels. Oh my goodness, I love the way this lipstick feels. It feels really nice and soft and cushy on the lips. The one thing I will say is the reason that it's down this far is because it broke. Um, I have two others in the satin formula and they're not leaning or wobbling. Um, the problem with a lipstick that breaks is eventually it starts to like you're pressing on it and it's hitting back here and then you're getting lipstick down this part as you're rolling it up and rolling it down then it gets on the inside and it just makes a mess. It makes a mess and I don't like that at all. So I like this color. I like the way that it feels. It's actually a comfortable hydrating lipstick. And I don't know if the matte formula is prone to breaking or whether I just got a bum bullet. I mean, I don't know. But part of me, even just to get a new refill at $30, I don't know that I wanna spend $30 on a matte lipstick that might break. But you let me know, do you have any of these mattes from Valentina? Because it feels really good feels really comfortable on the lips. I like it so much. I do like the packaging. They do have limited edition packaging. Sometimes it's like white with the gold or black with the gold and I think that's nice. But um, it, it doesn't creep into my fine lines. Um, it doesn't kind of settle in places and make my, I mean, right now my lips are gonna be tortured by the end of this because these are matte lipsticks. <laughs> I'm still watching more than 20 of them. This lipstick lasts for about six hours. It touches up over itself really well. I don't find that it um, kind of wears down and gets kind of patchy in the middle unless I eat a full meal. I feel like when I eat a full meal, I need to touch it up. Um, but if I'm just snacking or drinking beverages and stuff like water or coffee, I get a little bit of transfer to the cup or the utensil, but but honestly, it's not bad. It's just, it's just the fact for me that it's broken and I don't know whether they're all like that. If they're prone to breaking, this formula needs different packaging. I don't know, but I really like the way it feels. This next lipstick is the most expensive lipstick in this entire collection, and it's from La Bouche Rouge. This is their matte formula. I have the shade Pop Art Red. First of all, I lo love, like this little magnetic click. Love it so much. Of course, they're refillable. The refills on their own, $45. And these little leather cases here are gonna run you 80. Um, what's interesting to me about this lipstick, the reason it's where it is, is because I don't know that I'm getting the value that I want out of this. There are 23 shades in this range. What's interesting to me about this is I feel like it's a little bit, it's a lot thinner of a formula. It does have some hydration to it. Um, but I find that this one here tends to kind of find all of my fine lines and so this one absolutely must wear with a lip liner. Um, there is no scent to this and I like that. Um, there's a little bit of a, can you hear that? A little bit of a rattle. And that's it, because this part here is held in magnetically. It kind of goes in 
and then it kind of clicks in. So it's being held in by a magnet. So there is a little bit of rattling with this. I don't know if that might bother you, but I think overall, this is the heaviest one there is. This is chock full of magnets. Magnets for the component going in, magnets to keep the cap and the bottom together. Um, it's really, really lovely. Here's something that's interesting. They talk about this being a vegan and cruelty-free lipstick. It doesn't have any silicones or any petroleum. It doesn't have any beeswax or anything. But then they sell it to you in a leather case. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, the leather work is beautiful. Like, it has their logo right here on the top. These come in multiple colors. I mean, I get it. I get it. But for me, $80 for this, $45 for the lipstick. There are better matte lipsticks out there. Is it good? Yeah. Is it an experience? Absolutely. If you're looking for luxury, I think this delivers kind of like that. Not quite quiet luxury because it does have like, you know, it's little um, imprint here on the top. But this, it's very streamlined. It's very simple. But I don't know that this is delivering at that $125 price point. This is, this is not giving what I was expecting it to give for that price point. Next up in my lineup is this one from Givenchy. This is La Rouge Sheer Velvet. This is the sheer velvet matte. Okay, $44. I like this. Guess what? This one's refillable. If you were to get the full size of the silk one, it's also refillable. Weirdly enough, the deep matte is not. Okay, fine. Um, this does have that faint, very faint, but very floral high-end luxury lipstick um, scent to it. What I like about this lipstick and I think it's partly the shade and partly also that kind of sheer matte formula. It feels like nothing on. <laughs> but this is not in part the moisture that I need. I can continue to apply. I do get a little bit more color as I continue to apply, but this is one of those that um, I like how sheer and almost no lipsticky. It kind of has that kind of blotted no lipstick look. If you are into something that's really lightweight, you'd probably like this. This again, it has that flocked velvet <laughs> and you can see I dinged it up. And I'm sad. I mean, $44 for a lipstick and she looks so pretty, but don't look at the back of her. <laughs> there are 13 shades on the website. And when you go to search for refills, guess what? You can't click on the refill. So I don't know how much the refills are for these Givenchy lipsticks, the silk one, this one here, it just errors out on the Givenchy website. So I'm kind of wondering if they're selling the stock they have and they're trying to launch a new, I don't know. I don't know. I like this lipstick, but I'm not, it's not one that I, Think would be for everybody if you like kind of like a more soft blotted look um it feel literally feels like nothing on i love that i feel like it wears pretty well about mm, four hours but i have to continually reapply because it is kind of that sheer formula but i do like this lipstick and i feel like the color i got is the perfect color for this type of formula the next lipstick i have is from lancome um, this is the L'Absolu Rouge Drama Matte. This is $35. This is a limited edition case. It normally comes in packaging that looks like this. So you have the Lancome name, you have the rose on the top with the little depression, and it's actually like a little release button. And so your bullet comes shooting out the bottom. Um, it does have this nice kind of ridged detailing here. And this one was a Valentine's release a couple years ago, so it's heart-shaped. But this formula is actually really nice. I like this formula. I feel like $35 is a good price for this, but there are not a lot of shades. I normally don't wear reds this deep, but this has a really nice kind of glide to it. It does sit a little heavier on the lips. It's not as lightweight as the sheer one from Givenchy. I feel like I'm wearing lipstick when I put this on. I find that this actually wears really well. It lasts for about eight hours. If you're curious, there is kind of like a, a floral smell to this. Um, if you've ever had a Lancome lipstick, this is the scent that I always associate. Like if you were to, I were to close my eyes, oh, that's Lancome. Like I know, like certain lipsticks, like, oh, that's a L'Oreal lipstick. Oh, that's a, you know, that's what this is. This smells like all the other Lancome lipsticks I've had in the past. Um, I do like this, you know, kind of push button mechanism here. I feel like that gives it a touch of luxury, but when you're like getting the regular one, this cap is plastic plasticky plastic. They used to be metal before they changed the tube to this slightly hourglass. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like the mechanism is fine. Um, is it giving like luxury? No, this is giving kind of high end. 
just to let you know, I feel like this one gives luxury, but it does have that velvet flocking on it. Another one I have to kind of be precious with. This actually does a really good job of staying where I put it. It wears well, even through a meal. Like I find that this is one of those lipsticks that if I, you know, have a little bit more up here in my cupid's bow and down here in a little spot in the middle where I was eating and like, you know, I lost some of it, I could use my finger to redistribute or I could smush my lips together to redistribute. Not all lipsticks do that. <laughs> this one actually does a really good job. This one is not drying on my lips, and I feel like for the $35 price point, is actually really great. I just wish they had more shades. They have 19 shades, but a lot of them tend to be um, colors that don't really appeal to me, which is why I haven't picked up any more of these. Here's one that's new to my collection. This is one from Chanel. This is the Rouge Allure Velvet Matte Lipstick. This is $48. What's interesting is I got this at the tail end of December and it was $45. Now the price has increased to 48. Just keep that in mind. Um, there's no scent to this. Some Chanel lipsticks have scents, this one does not. And there are 20 shades in this lineup. I like the component because it actually, it has a little bit of weight to it. And this push mechanism here is nice, but this is very, it, Feels really lightweight. I do like the interlocking C's here on the bottom, but these are not refillable. Some of the other Chanel lipsticks are. I feel like I need a little more blush with this lipstick. <laughs> I like the way this feels. This has a really nice soft feel to it. It is also very hydrating. It glides really easily. Um, I like the way that it feels moisturizing, but it doesn't really lose its matte texture. I feel like the more I wipe stuff off, the more <laughs> dried out my lips are getting. So keep in mind, if you're putting these lipsticks on, it's gonna look a lot better than this. My lips are gonna be tortured by the end. I feel like it wears really well, and it also, like you can apply over itself if you have a spot, like if you were drinking a cup of coffee, like you went through three cups of coffee in the morning and there's a little missing patch, you could either redistribute with your finger smushing your lips together or putting it on straight from the bullet. Sometimes some matte lipsticks don't go on over the top of themselves after they've had a little bit of a wear on the lips. This one is actually really nice. This does something that some of the other ones do where I get a little bit of a soft kind of blurred edge. It's not really finding all of those fine lines and going out, um, but I do get a little bit of a blurred edge. If I wanted to be really crisp, I actually use a lip liner with this, but a lot of times I will take off the, the majority of it and just use my finger to kind of rub it in for a very soft diffuse look something like this where you have the color but it's not too much I actually really like this lipstick at $48 it's not my favorite formula the next matte lipstick in my lineup is this one from House of Siage this is the diamond powder matte velvet lipstick I mean come on the component is absolutely beautiful um, this lipstick is one where the lipstick itself is $35. So of course it's refillable, um, but the bow holder itself, the day that I was looking online, the bow, some of the bow holders were on sale for like 30 to 40% off, but they range anywhere from 198, usually up to like more than $300. But this one here has, they mentioned that, that the, this style of bow holder here has more than 300 Swarovski crystals. It has enamel on it. Like this is the heaviest of all of these luxury lipsticks. This is like your bougie statement times a hundred. It glides, it feels creamy. I feel like I'm wearing a cream lipstick. This is one of the most comfortable matte lipsticks. I almost feel like it doesn't really qualify as a matte because it does have a subtle shine to it, but it's just super comfortable. The reason it's where it is, it's not because it's a bad lipstick. It's not my favorite lipstick because I don't know that you're getting the value for the product because like all together with the bow holder and the lipstick on the inside, this was like a $230 lipstick. Like is any lipstick worth that? Now I have two bow holder cases. I have this one in red. I have one kind of like in a um, Tiffany blue. Um, I, th I think they're beautiful. Um, this formula though, if we're talking just the lipsticks, you don't have to have bow holder to use it, but if you want to be able to twist it up like a regular lipstick, you will need a bow holder because you could do it down here, but you know, carrying a lipstick around like this. Okay. The formula is really, really nice. I get really good wear out of this. I get a good six hours. I, I do touch it up after eating, snacking, having beverages. I feel like it's really good like that. This is actually one of those where, because it is so precious, I don't like to just drop this in my purse. Cause like, it gets ugly at the bottom of my 
my purse. So it comes with this. There is also like a little bag. Oh, here it is. A little bag like this and it has a little drawstring and this is like a little soft bag. And then you can also put it in, they come in these like little leather cases. And so I take it like this I don't use the little bag, um, but I take it like this in my purse. But the truth is it's such an effort. The one thing that is nice is that there's velvet flocking on the inside and there is a mirror. So you could actually apply your lipstick like this, but it's just such an effort to do that. I kind of don't. Now, one of the wonderful touches about these is because this bow holder here has all of the silver trim, the lipsticks come in silver packaging as well as gold packaging. So if your bow holder has gold trim, you can get the same shades. The reason I don't have more of these is I don't always like the shades of lipstick. I feel like they don't have as many nuanced shades. I love this formula. Um, I, I just have not fallen in love with the shades. I feel like either I have shades like that or I'm not as likely to use this because I feel like I have to be so careful and precious with it. We're getting into the territory of the lipsticks that actually are comfortable and nourishing on the lips like that House of Siage one. My lips feel better after having had that on. The next one in my lineup is this one from Tom Ford. This is the lip color matte. These are $59. There's a slightly sweet scent to this, slightly sweet. And on the Tom Ford website, there's only six shades. Now I know there's limited edition shades that come out in this formula, but when I was purchasing this lipstick, I have the shade 100. The shade 100 is not on the Tom Ford website right now. And I was like, wait, what? What's going on? I feel like a lot of brands are revamping their lipsticks. And I think that might be happening because I saw a new um, release for Tom Ford. It hasn't been released yet, but they're slim satin lipsticks. I don't know. I don't know. But this one is beautiful. This is the shade 100. This feels like a cream lipstick. Even though it is matte, it actually feels so comfortable on the lips. I've had a lot of people tell me that the Tom Ford lipsticks go bad quickly. They end up going off or smelling like a crayon. And the minute your lipstick starts smelling like a crayon, it means that the oils and waxes in here have gone rancid. I get about five hours of wear. And then when I reapply, I'm not always reapplying for color because it doesn't really transfer a ton. I'm putting it on again because my lips are like, we're dry. And it's not that this is drying them out. I mean, it's February. I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's cold here. And um, this might wear differently in the summertime, but I'll tell you in the winter when I'm really craving matte lips, this one is really comfortable. If I want it really crisp, I do need a lip liner with this, but this doesn't kind of go places. I like that it doesn't travel. I like that the formula feels comfortable. It feels hydrating. And I apply another layer of it just to make sure that my lips do have that nourishing kind of comfortable, hydrated feel to them. Next lipstick is from Gucci. This is the Rouge I Love Matte Lipstick. This is $47. This has such a, such a strong floral smell. I find that all the Gucci lipsticks are so heavily scented. There are 15 shades currently available on the Gucci website. Another one of those that really glides beautifully. It's not drying at all. I feel like texturally, this is just a hair above the Tom Ford. Um, I feel like they're about equally weighty. I like this one because it has kind of like these um, vertical lines or ridges on it. It's beautiful. It does have the detailing of the name like right here on the top of the cap. Um, these are not refillable. I think $47 is a lot for a luxury lipstick. At that point, so many people are moving to refillable components. I think that would be great, but I do like that this has very strong vintage lipstick vibes. This one here is the matte, and you can tell that the matte formula comes with these vertical lines. The satin formula also comes in gold packaging, but the distinction is this one has all of this beautiful engraving on it, so it's really easy to tell them apart. This feels so nice on the lips. It has a slight, slight, almost powdery feel to it. I feel like it looks nice. It looks hydrating. My lips never end up looking shriveled and angry when I'm wearing this lipstick. I really like this. This does not last through like a whole day. This is one of those lipsticks that does really well if you're snacking, if you're drinking beverages, but the minute you have a meal, you're gonna wanna reapply this. And it reapplies beautifully over the top of itself. My lips always feel comfortable wearing this. I actually really like this formula. This lipstick surprised me. This is from Guerlain. This is their Kiss Kiss Tender Matte Lipstick. This is a $42 powdery velvet lipstick. Um, there are 14 shades and this like all the other Guerlain lipsticks does have kind of like that heavy floral scent to it. 
This has a really nice silicone glide and a feel to it. It's very nourishing on the lips. So when I was first looking at this lipstick, I was like, you know, $42, that's not bad because prices are going up. Um, I do like the packaging. It has um, the Guerlain logo here at the top and I like kind of like this square bubble type packaging. I think it's really pretty. They're kind of satiny glowy ones come in all gold packaging, but I like the black. Um, the other thing that I think is really nice is that um, lipsticks like this that tend to be matte, I feel do really well in slimmer line packaging. So here's what I like about this lipstick. First of all, it goes on like a dream. It feels really great. It wears for about four hours. It's not the longest lasting lipstick, but most bullet lipsticks do need to be reapplied and touched up. This is a weighty beauty. She is so nice. And I find that it reapplies over itself really well. There are times during the day that I will reapply for the hydration aspect of this because it feels so good going on. I really, really like the Way that it feels. I feel like my lips are looking better. They're not quite as lined. Some of the ones that were lower down just made my lips look more textured. This one looks good. This one feels good. I like the $42 price point. There are, I mean, it's kind of at the lower end of the luxury price point. I think this is a great lipstick. I just wish there were more shades because there's only 14. So the next lipstick is one of my absolute favorites. It's from Lisa Eldridge. Ooh. It's all dirty. <laughs> this is the Insanely Saturated Lipstick. This is kind of like a demi-matte. This is a $36 lipstick. There's only one other lipstick in the lineup that's less expensive than this, and I love this formula. It feels so creamy going on. It glides on. This wears like a champ. I've had this, this lipstick on, especially in this kind of paley pink shade, for like more than eight hours. I love this lipstick. First of all, that $36 price point, mm, beautiful um the reason that it's not farther towards the top is because there's only five of these there's only five shades of the insanely saturated lipstick i would like to have more i like that it's not a full complete like matte 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 it's like a demi matte it's beautiful um there's no scent to this so if you're not somebody who likes a scent i also like that the packaging is magnetic it has lisa's logo on the top it does very much have like kind of like a modern but also slightly vintage feels the all gold the heavy the weighty packaging but the fact that there's nothing on here it's just very sleek and very elegant this is a beautiful lipstick and this formula is so nice it doesn't dry my lips out it actually imparts moisture i just wish there was more than five shades that's the only thing i can say about it there was like give me more that's what i want this next one is a new favorite. It's from Prada. This is the Monochrome Hyper Matte Lipstick. This is a $50 lipstick. It has a very faint floral smell to it. There are 18 shades. I do like that it's a refillable package. The refills are, I think, $40. This has such a beautiful, nice glide to it. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a matte lipstick. It's also super pigmented. I feel like my lips are a little unhappy. <laughs> so I'm always looking like, is it straight? Do I have it on good? This is a lot of lip swatching to do, but things that I like about this, first of all, super weighty, super gorgeous. Um, there are two formulas from Prada. Um, there's this one, the Hyper Matte, um, it comes with the gold trim and the other one has like, it's all fully silver. I like that you can have that visual distinction like the ones from Gucci do, because the, the component's the same, but doesn't a little bit different. I like that. Um, the other thing that I really like about this is that it's really comfortable. Um, it is matte, but it's not drying. There's actual hydration to this. My lips actually feel good wearing this because it is such a bold red. I feel like this looks best when I take a liner and really like crisp up the line. I think that if I was younger and my lips had more volume in them, I really wouldn't have to worry about that because this kind of sharp little corners here really help you to get like right to the edge. I could probably line my lips with just this if I was a little bit younger. So if you have full voluminous lips, you're gonna love this lipstick. But if you, like me, are losing volume and collagen in your lips and you're getting a little bit older, everything always looks a little bit crisper with a liner. This doesn't travel though, this is comfortable. Sometimes I find myself putting it on just because I'm like, oh, my lips need a little more, like a little more hydration. I'll put more of this on. I really like this lipstick. So this next lipstick is one that I'm, I'm a little divided on. I love the way the formula feels. I love the way it looks on the lips but I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. And it's from Carolina Herrera. This is called the Fabulous Kiss Lipstick Matte. This is $32 for the refill, 
and $23 for the cap. Um, the cap does have this beautiful red detail on the inside. I decided to get the one that had the zebra print with the gold accents on it. There's a lot of different options for the packaging. This is, this is what I don't like. Like, the idea is this lipstick comes with accessories. And one of those accessories is like a keychain and then like a big giant gold loop. And then you can put like charms on the keychain. It also has the ability to attach like a magnetic tassel to the bottom. There's like eight or 10 colors. I mean, it's super cute, but my lipstick doesn't need accessories. My lipstick needs to be good. So I'm not a fan of the packaging. This also feels kind of lightweight and chintzy. But this formula, oh my goodness, this is Carolina Red. Not only do I love the color, the formula feels fantastic. So for me, this feels so creamy. It has a slightly heavier feel to it, like the Lawn Comb and some of the others. It's not as a lightweight of a lipstick, but I don't mind that because it's not tacky. It doesn't stick to itself. It doesn't have a weird dry down. This feels creamy and luxurious, but looks matte on the lips. This also doesn't accentuate my lined lips. It doesn't make my lips look dried or shriveled or smaller. Man, especially with a bright red, it calls a lot of attention to your lips, but this formula does it right. I just am not a fan of the packaging, but I feel like I deserve more of this. Like I would love to have another color. I don't know if they have a lot of nudes, but like, I'm, I'm curious, like I wanna know. I really like this lipstick. This next lipstick has been around for a minute. This is kind of like one of the first matte lipsticks that kind of showed me I can wear a matte lipstick. And when I discovered it, I bought so many of these and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick. The ones that come in this rose gold packaging here with all of these vertical lines are $35. Um, the ones that come in the refillable hot lips packaging, because these guys are refillable, are $38. Um, and there are various different like cases from Charlotte for this. So you can get different options, but just this plain one here is so good. Oh, look, I have red all over my fingers. Oh, please. I also like the slightly squared off tip of this bullet. I think it makes it really easy to apply and it glides. This is a $35 lipstick. It has a slight sweet, almost vanilla scent to it. This, by the way, is Pillow Talk Medium. This packaging doesn't have like a magnetic closure. These ones here aren't refillable, but it does have a really nice, satisfying snap closure. I've never had any of the lids from this come off. Also have not had the lids from the refillable ones. That snap closure is really, really nice and tight because there's nothing worse than a cap coming off in your purse and getting lipstick everywhere. Like cleaning the inside of the bag, all the things that it gets on, a ruined lipstick, no thank you. Um, but this feels really good on the lips. I feel like for years I was expecting matte lipsticks to do what either, and this was many years ago, drugstore matte lipsticks did to dry out my lips or like the retro matte from MAC, which also dried out my lips. Like I really wanted to love a matte lipstick. I just thought my lips couldn't handle it until I tried this formula. I like this so much. That's why this far up, I feel like it's a great formula. It's a little bit more on the affordable side at $35. I mean, it's still a luxury lipstick, but when you're investing in a lipstick like this, if you get a color that you're gonna wear all the time, you're absolutely gonna love it. Um, this is one that I feel uh, wears well. I don't, I don't have problems with this kind of wearing off quickly. It's easy to apply over the top of itself Man, I love this lipstick. This is a great, great formula. This is one of my absolute new favorite finds, and this is the Prada Monochrome Soft Matte Lipstick. Another $50 lipstick. She's refillable. I love that. Um, I also like that the refills are $40, but this lipstick, oh my, good, oh my goodness, this lipstick. So it has a really beautiful kind of um, glide to it. It feels nourishing. It almost feels like I'm putting on lip balm. It feels really nice and cushy on the lips, but I like that it is such a sheer formula. This is for the person who wants an understated lip. This is for the person who doesn't want to wear a lipsticky lipstick because it is so lightweight. It is sheer. And this shade in Tiepolo, oh, 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 my heart beats for Tiepolo. I have to keep telling my 15 year old, don't take my Prada lipstick. And if you do, put it back. But I have been, I love this. Like I'll pull it out and I'll put it on just for hydration. I like that I don't even need a mirror to put it on. And I'm sure it's because it's a, a real kind of paley, 
pinky nude shade. This is the perfect almost no lipstick lipstick for me, but this doesn't last that long. <laughs> okay, it is a sheer formula. Um, it is comfortable and nourishing, and I feel like I use it kind of like a lip balm. Like every hour and a half or two hours, I'll throw on another layer of it so that my lips don't start to feel dry. But at the end of the day, my lips are in such great condition because of this. It does have that slightly floral scent. If you're curious, there are 16 shades in this formula, but for me, it's the surprise that I can't stop reaching. I'm obsessed with this, and especially this shade in Tiepolo. But this formula, I'm kind of like, do I need one of the soft matte reds? Because I love a red lipstick, but something that looks kind of less and a little bit more undone. And that's what I get from this, and I like it so much. The lipstick that I hated the most, <laughs> this one here from Dior, I think this formula debuted in the fall of 2022. And I, I bought one, I tried it on, and I was like, ah! And somebody in the comments of that video said, okay, if you're looking for a matte lipstick from Dior, try one of these. These are the Couture Color Velvet lipsticks. They said the matte velvets are beautiful. And I cannot be more grateful for when you make like one of the best recommendations ever. So whoever that person was, mwah, like, love this. So Dior recently um, updated their packaging. This is the new one here. Um, this is the old one here. It has kind of like this um, silver textured rib in the middle and the CD on top. Um, and it's a snap closure. Um, I do like that the cap on the inside is red. That's kind of like a fun touch. Old packaging has refillable lipsticks. I like that as well. Um, but here, this one, this new one, these just debuted like maybe a month ago. Guess what? They're magnetic. <gasps> oh, and they have um, this uh, design here on the top. I, I like it. They feel, mm, this might be just slightly heavier. The new one might be just slightly heavier. But what's great about these is that if you have this lipstick in this case and you want to refill for it, the new refill fits in the old packaging and vice versa. So that is something that is really, really nice. Okay, enough about the packaging. This feels so good on the lips does have a scent to it. <laughs> I mean, it definitely, it's like a very floral, almost like a powdery floral. This feels like a cream lipstick, but it looks matte. It is be beautiful. On the days when my lips are in really good condition and I put this on, this is the sort of lipstick that I like because it adds hydration, it feels comfortable, it lasts well, it doesn't do a lot of transferring. Like if you like, you know, kiss somebody, you might leave a smoochy mark, but it's not gonna be like a really heavy one. It's gonna be like a little light whisper of color. There is minimal transfer to utensils, to cups, glasses, things like that, fine. All right, but this is one of those lipsticks that is so comfortable, that is so nourishing on the lips, that like, I, don't, I mean, I don't know, I don't care, like I want more. These are fantastic. Even the old ones, they did say that they were updating the formula to make these a little bit more nourishing. I haven't really noticed a difference from the old formula to the new formula. They both feel very similar texturally on the lips. They look the same, they wear about the same, they smell the same. Uh, but if you're curious, $49 for the new one and the refills are $39. This next lipstick snuck up on me. I didn't realize how much I was loving it and reaching for it and reaching for it until I couldn't stop reaching for it. All right, and it's from Guerlain. This is one of the Rouge G Luxurious Velvet Lipsticks. So the new component here um, doesn't fit very well into the, I had an old lipstick and I didn't want to buy another case because <laughs> I already bought two new cases and they're really pretty, but they're, I didn't want to spend $36 on another case. So I pulled this out of, um, where my like lipstick graveyard is. It doesn't magnetize in as well as it would with like a different type of case. But the nice thing about the Rouge G is that they have mirrors in here. They're very heavy. They're very weighty. They're very, very, very luxe. And this um, luxurious velvet formula is stunning. Years ago, Guerlain used to sell their Rouge G lipsticks like this in this kind of all silver case. They have since upgraded to, let me grab one. They went from something like this to these guys here, like decorated individual kind of designer cases, which are great. They still have the, the mirror on the inside, but I'll tell you, um, this lipstick, the other ones that I have are all satins. This 
velvet, luxurious velvet lipstick does feel just that. It's, it is really comfortable. It is, it, it feels like a cream lipstick going on. I like that my lips look like they've been tortured. They've been through like the whole range. My lips look better now <laughs> wearing this lipstick, despite having been rubbed off and trying on more than 20 lipsticks than they did at the beginning with that terrible one from Dior. This lipstick does all the right things. It hydrates, um, it feels good, it's super pigmented. I get about four hours of wear out of this. This is not one of those bulletproof lipsticks. Like if you sip, water from a glass, you're gonna leave a lip print. Uh, same thing with your coffee mug, same thing if you're eating. This gets broken down by things that are oily, so like pizza, salad dressing, things like that that have that oil will break it down. And it's slightly high maintenance. But the reason it's up so high, like my second favorite lipstick, is because it is so comfortable. And once you get the pigment on, I don't lick my lips. I don't end up like smudging my face. This stays put. This does not feather. This does not go out other places. There just aren't a lot of shades. I wish because they keep releasing like new cases, like sparkly cases. I know they're not getting rid of the Rouge G line, but I just feel like there are fewer matte shades than I thought. And when I made the purchase from Guerlain, I went back to check the website and there was even fewer of them. So this component right here costs $36 and the cases run anywhere from $26 to $38. This was like a $38 one. This one here with the leather on the front was only $26. So I'm glad I had like a spare case from an old lipstick so I didn't have to buy another one, but this, this formula this formula is magnificent. My number one luxury matte lipstick, and I'm sure you're like, you were waiting for it. It's Lisa Eldred. These are the true velvet lipsticks. So I do love the packaging. I love the price, $36. You're getting so much, like compared to all the rest of it. Yeah, there's some really fun and beautiful things like the House of Siage lipsticks, uh, the ones from Guerlain, the Carolina Herrera. There's some beautiful packaging out there, but this real simple packaging with magnetic closure, a weightiness to it, and the fact that it's only $36, I love that. There are 23 shades in this formula. I can't say enough good about this formula. I, I love it so much, so much. My whole heart loves this lipstick. This is the formula that wears like a champ. There was one day I was wearing the shade Velvet Ribbon, like Lisa's bright neutral red for 12 hours. And I ate two meals, snacks, water. Like I, I did the whole thing. I was like constantly putting stuff in my mouth. And at the end of the day, a little bare spot in the middle. So I just pulled what was in my Cupid's bow and down here and just kind of filled it in. Perfect. This doesn't find all of my lines and go places. This doesn't leave my lips dry and dehydrated at the end of the day. This is one of those lipsticks, like I could write a love letter to this formula. It is so, so good. Um, I love the nuanced shades. I feel like that's the one thing that you're really getting from Lisa Eldridge are the shades that are nuanced and very different. It's not just a red. It's like many different shades of red, warm reds, cool reds, brown reds, like deep reds. Um, this one here, Velvet Enchantment, is, is kind of like an everyday red. She calls it her fairy tale red. Um, but I like that it has that hint of warmth and depth to it. Um, it's, I don't know, these are so easy to wear. So easy to wear. And I feel the reason it's all the way at the top is because for me, this formula is the best, the most comfortable, the most bulletproof. And then on top of that, you're getting that luxury experience for $36. This is the one formula everything else has to live up to. And when they don't, uh, I'm just like, well, why am I spending, you know, 200 and some odd dollars for, you know, something like this or the 120 for La Bouche Rouge when I could just get more Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. <laughs> That's literally how I think of it. And I think the way that my lips look they're a little tortured right now. They're a little angry from all the, you know, steps I've been putting through them but this feels good on the lips and it's a great way to end knowing that the, the closer I get to number one, the more hydrated and the happier my lips are gonna feel. Um, this, boy, this was a long video. I knew it was gonna be long, I knew it was gonna be long and I'm so, so sorry for that. But if you love lipsticks as much as I do, I think this sort of a, 
um, a breakdown talking about how long they wear, um, talking about are they drying, um, talking about um, the way that they feel on the lips, the price point, uh, value for money. I feel like um, Charlotte Tilbury and Lisa Eldridge are like really delivering the value. The ones that for sensory feel that I like, I like so much. Um, the Prada Soft Matte and the Carolina Herrera, although I don't really like this packaging. I feel like kind of mid-tier ones are like the Tom Ford and the Gucci mats. Those are really, really nice. I was so impressed by the new one from um, Dior. Like there's some really good stuff here. Here's the one that makes me the saddest is this one because the formula feels amazing. This would be so much farther up the list if it hadn't broken. And so I, I just would say, purchase with caution, or if you have a bunch of these and yours are fine, I just got a dead one, let me know so I'm willing to try another one and not feel like I'm throwing my money down the drain. All right, there we go. Thank you so, so much for watching. I have been having so much fun doing this luxury lipstick series. This is a crazy long video, but I hope it gave you the information that you're looking for. If you have any questions, of course, put them down in the comment section below. I will happily answer everything. I'm also going to put links for all of the lipsticks that I showed you in the description box down below. Um, if you happen to use those links, they are affiliate links. They get a small commission, but it doesn't cost you anything more. And it's a really, really, nice way to support me and my channel so that I can do more videos like this where I spend oodles and oodles of money so you don't have to. The next lipstick video will definitely be the satin formulas. I've got so many. It's going to take me some while, some time to work on it because you see like all the notes that I make. Like I really go through and I, I want to make sure I'm as thorough as possible to make sure that I'm giving you the best information. So give me some time to work on that. But I'll leave the links for the other luxury lipstick videos in the description bar down below. I also have a lipstick playlist. Uh, some of them are affordable, some of them are luxury, some of them are all from one brand. If you're curious, go take a look through that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day. Wear your favorite lippy and I will see you again soon.